Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is T Revolution and today I'm back with another amazing video. Today I'll be doing a quick review about the LG G6 and the S8. Both are the 2017 flagships and both are from South Korea. And it's a great battle of bezel-less display and power so for comparison i'll be using an application called versus which gives almost a comparison between uh, laptops cars and smartphones so just type what you want to compare and just click go it gives you the reasons for each well this is g6 plus as let's go for g6 g6 plus has not yet released so G6 versus Samsung Galaxy S8 Go and they will compare it for you and as usual necessarily all will matter because some is personal reviews so let's get started and check out what's in uh, what's the reason for LG re uh, G6 first a little bit faster CPU clock speed as you know both are octa core and uh, the G6 has 2.35 GHz uh, CPU clock speed whereas uh, the L uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 has 2.3 GHz CPU clock speed so LG G6 is 2.17 percentage faster at CPU clock speed and next is higher pixel density 565 ppi versus 531 ppi so as you can see there's 6.40 percentage higher pixel density but at this level of pixel density anything more than 500 is not uh, visible by our eyes uh, the change is not visible by our eyes so it doesn't matter much really <coughs> plenty more megapixel 30 megapixel versus 12 megapixel as you know samsung's previous uh, its predecessors had 16 megapixels so the thing is that the, the quality of the camera is not really based on megapixel megapixel only matters when you are zooming the photo or enlarging the photo and uh, up to my opinion these uh, the megapixels doesn't count so even though it has only 12 megapixel the pixel size is large so it has a capacity to hold more light so this is not even a this is not a big comparison so this it's not even valid i can say then again megapixel in front camera doesn't matter much then a bit lighter 10 grams lighter okay fine it will be uh, a bit more handy and can be used uh, can be held to, uh, easierly and it's a bit thinner also see when you compare the size itself g6 is smaller see and and according to me g6 uh, both are uh, elegant devices and it feels good to hold on hand both um, the the g6 is uh, made of metal and galaxy followed the same metal and glass pattern and uh, galaxy looks extremely beautiful but it's it's back is fingerprint magnet it can attract fingerprints so and that too it's a bit bigger but overall both phones can be handled with one hand and let's continue has an ips screen as i said some things, uh, some reasons uh, vary with person. So, IPS screen and uh, AMOLED display is a personal choice. And according to my opinion, I am an AMOLED AMOLED display lover. And that doesn't mean IPS display is bad or anything. It depends upon what you need, and that's that's up to you. Next. A shadow narrower shorter less body volume as you can clearly see 
which is actually smaller and this makes it more easy to ho hold on a hand it depends upon the size of the hand also then next comes larger sensor <coughs> and yeah larger sensor matters because it changes the ability to absorb light then comes Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 Pro and uh, without checking the remaining reasons I can say the LG G6 come with Snapdragon 821 and S8 Plus comes with Snapdragon 835 and obviously we know which is better Snapdragon 835 because it's the latest version and it's almost one year later and that's it that's are the positive reasons for LG G6 now let's go for Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus somewhat more battery because Samsung Galaxy S8 comes with 3500 milliamp battery versus the G6 with 3300 milliamp battery 6.06 percentage more battery power and yeah there's a difference of 200 million battery a million power and also it mat also what matters is the battery optimization next slightly bigger screen size yeah it's bigger and and the size uh, and to s know whether it's a better reason it depends upon the person whether he wants a bigger screen or a handy device next higher resolution it's just because uh, uh, they both come with the new 18 is to 9 bezel less display so both are quad, quad HD and yeah Samsung introduced the infinite display and that's what's the difference yeah the infinite display is better according to me it's better than the IPS display has a stereo speaker and that's something that I like it devices with serious speakers deliver sound that surrounds the user from left and right side creating a richer sound and a better experience and that's great wireless charging that's something still there in Samsung right from Samsung Galaxy S4 the, which when they introduced it it's still over here and it's a safe and easy handy method to use charging clearly fast download speed okay explicit better video recording yeah you can record in 60 fps at uh, 2160 whereas um, whereas in quad hd you can only record 30 fps in the g6 wider aperture at minimum focal length that's great it the g6 has 1.7 f and the g6 has 1.8 f and Almost all the flagships of 2017 and 16 comes with 1.8 f, which is, uh, and that's uh, that's the ability to absorb light. The lesser the uh, uh, the lesser it is, the more light it can absorb. So Samsung Galaxy S8 wins in this. Then supports ANT Plus, that's the heart rate monitor and all the smart features that has in this device. As a heart rate monitor as I mentioned above and that's a kind of cool sensor that but not uh, always useful like who is gonna use a heart rate monitor daily next as an AMOLED display as I said it's a personal opinion and I like AMOLED display as a bigger pixel size and that matters because more the size more is the amount of light absorbed and that's great that improves the low light performance as an iris scanner that's the next level of biometric security scanning your iris and uh, the s8 comes with three types of biometric security the fingerprint scanner face recognition and the iris scanner whereas g6 comes with uh, the fingerprint scanner the new gorilla glass version yeah the g g6 has Gorilla Glass 3, whereas the G5 S5 uh, S8 has the Gorilla Glass 5, which is the latest version of Gorilla Glass. Ah, the next one is a bit funny. No spontaneous combustion, hands free, time bomb removed since Galaxy Note 7. <laughs> Great. 
Next is Qualcomm Snapdragon 835, as I mentioned above, the latest, the better. And that's a quick review about the or comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and G6. And thanks to Vers uh, Versus, we get some personal opinions about this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Thank you. <coughs>